before we get started, thank you guys so much for still sticking it with me. My dear, dear husband right over here decided to let me know that I'm not as ecstatic in my videos as I am in real life. This is only my third video, so I still am pretty new to YouTube. So I am going to be a little more louder. I hope you like this video. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe, as well as the notification bell so you can get updates on my newest videos. Anyways, that's enough talk about me. Let's go on and get started with the video. So I always start with putting on face moisturizer. I have naturally oily skin, so instead of using a cream, I use a gel. And the kind that I use is Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel and it's actually pretty cheap um, I'll put it down below in case you're interested in buying it or looking up the reviews on it but I haven't had any problems my face still does get a little oily in the middle of the day but it's definitely not as bad using a gel as opposed to a cream so I do recommend if you have oily skin to try this out you probably will end up liking it. I'm not gonna put it on now because I did put it on this morning. As soon as I wake up, I put that stuff on. So I let it dry up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my foundation. And I do think it's a little bit backwards. I don't know why, but I like putting on my foundation first before my eyeshadow. So the foundation that I'm using is the Pixi H2O Skin Tint. And I absolutely love this stuff. What shade is this? Warm. They only sell it at Target or you can buy it through their website online. But I do recommend if you're looking for a light foundation, definitely give this a try. You're going to love it. I'm going to put my hair back. I'm going to go ahead and put some foundation on my finger and dab it. I'm going to rub it in with my brush. This is why... I feel like I like putting my foundation on first because I don't know, I like putting it on my eye even though I do use eyeshadow primer. I just like the full even look of it. I don't know, just me. So next I'm going to go ahead and use some concealer. I do love this Tarte Shape Tape. I know you guys already saw it in my other videos but I really love this. It The coverage is awesome and it doesn't make my skin look dry. This is the best concealer I've ever found so I'm going to go ahead and put that on. The more I think about it, the more I find more reasons why I like putting on my foundation after. You know, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just sloppy, but I always notice that I get it on my eyebrow and then I have to re-pencil my eyebrow too. So I know a lot of girls and they probably have their reasons why they put their foundation on after, but I, I don't know, I feel like it's a matter of preference. Now I'm all done with my foundation and my concealer. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to start contouring. I'm going to use Nude Rose by BH Cosmetics. I'm going to actually mix these two shades here. A lot of girls I feel are really scared of starting to contour. I had no idea how to contour either and it's actually a lot easier than you think. You just want to start and I'm sure you've heard this before but it, it is really important. You want to go under your cheekbone. So just make sure you know you can feel it with your wand here. Um, I mean your brush or you can feel with your finger if that makes you feel more comfortable. You just want to go about halfway, maybe a little more. Do circular strokes going upward. Don't even stress about contouring once you do it the first time. Just try one time. Just do circles going up and just use a really light hand. And you can always build, you know, so if you go too heavy, then it's going to give you a problem. But you're going to be like, what was the big deal? Like, it was really a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'm going to go on the top here. My hair is bugging the crap out of me. So next, I'm going to go ahead and put on my blush. I'm going to try out this blush today from the same palette. You just want to do the apples of your cheeks. Just lightly circle again. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use a highlight. I want to use like a really feathered out brush for this. I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm going to go ahead and use the highlight here that's in the same palette. I have a MAC highlight that I really like, but um, I'm trying out this palette just to see how I like it. I'm actually going to be doing a review on it soon to let you guys know because it is a pretty good price. So, And then for my highlight, I'm just going to go right above my blush very lightly like i said i have oily skin so i do kind of get like a natural glow throughout the day so i don't want to put too much on next i'm going to go ahead and pencil in my eyebrows and again i'm using my anastasia beverly hills in dark brown and what i do is i just outline my eyebrow and 
And then you see how sparse it looks here. I'm going to go ahead and push it up with my spoolie. I'm going to do hair stroke going up just a few. I'm going to do the other brow. I'm going to go ahead and start my eyeshadow now. And just a little side note for you guys too. I forgot to tell you when I was explaining this. Um, Oops, wrong way. This pixie uh, skin tint. If you're looking for something like thicker coverage, you might want to go with something a little bit more coverage than this because this is really light. Like I said, it's not heavy on your skin at all. You could layer it. I've never had any problems layering it, but you do have to put quite a few layers on if you're trying to cover something. It's just so light and airy and you don't even feel like it's on. So anyway, back to the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and use BH Cosmetics in Bronze Paradise. I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. I don't normally use peach, but this one looks really pretty. Okay. So I'm going to put it all over my eyelid. I forgot to put on my eyeshadow primer. See, this is what I mean. I'm happy I put on my foundation. This is really pretty. It looks like just your natural skin. It helps me get an even layer on my eyelid. I love this. So next, I'm going to go ahead and put on my transition shade which I'm also going to keep matte. I'm going to use this color right in the center. You might want to make sure you flick off. Can you see that? Flick off your wand because there's a lot coming off. And then I'm going to keep a really light, like see how far back I have my hand on my wand? I'm going to keep a really, really light hand on this. Over that, I'm going to put on this little shimmery one down here. I think that's really pretty. I'm going to put it on the outer corner. For the inner corner, I'm going to go ahead and use this really pretty light shimmer. This is a very loose powder. I mean, I like the coloring of it. I really like the way it looks, but the powder is just, it just flies everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeliner. Today I'm using, and this stuff is super cheap. So if you guys want some cheap eyeliner that glides on, you should try this. It's called Inglot. And it's in... 77. It takes a little while to dry, so you want to make sure you're not touching your eyes. Besides that, it's awesome. So a couple things about winged eyeliner that I wanted to mention because I know a lot of girls struggle with it. Winged eyeliner, winged eyeliner is like face painting. You want to make sure you have the right tool. So preferably when you're using something like a eyeliner gel like this, you want to have a really thin, very thin brush. Secondly, you want to make sure your paint is wet enough. So if this is dry. You're going to have a hard time applying it. There are a couple of things you can do to kind of soften that up if you want. You can put a little bit of baby oil on your wand and then rub it in and it'll make it a little bit thinner. Lastly and most importantly, it's never going to be perfect the first time you do it. It does take practice. So just keep trying and you're going to get good. Just like I told you with contouring, if you just do a little bit at a time, you won't have to reverse and try to take some off. If you do go too much or like let's say you have your Sorry, my mirror has been in your way. You have your um, elbow on a table like me right now, and then you're, oh, shoot. Like, it just slid down. No problem. You already have your makeup on. You don't want to ruin it. That's fine. Go ahead and same thing. Get some baby oil with a Q-tip and just rub, and you'll get it off. So I am going to put something on my lower lash, but I'm thinking I was going to use a, like, a little bit of brown and rub it in down here. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. 
don't judge me but i'm gonna go ahead and do the contouring and highlighting palette that i was telling you guys about and i'm gonna go ahead and use this deep brown right here because i really like it and i'm gonna put it on my lower lash line all right so next i'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara i'm gonna go ahead and use again my covergirl lash blush Lash Blast, Lash Blast, bleh. try to say that three times fast. <laughs> lash Blast. Okay, Lash Blast in very black. You wanna make sure you hold your face up when you do this because my eyelashes always hit my eyelid. So if you do this, it's less likely that you're gonna get any on your pretty eyeshadow that you just did. You don't feel like you have too much stuff on your desk. Ugh. If you don't like thick bottom lashes or you don't like how um, you get black underneath your lashes then I don't really recommend you using this uh, for your lower lashes because it is a really thick one and it's almost impossible not to get the black underneath there. Okay so I'm all done with my second coat now I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Long Lasting Drama Waterproof Pencil. Looks like this. Apply that to my waterline. I'm going to give you guys a little secret. This stuff is like, I try so many different waterline pencils and this stuff is by far the best stuff I've ever used. I mean, I use Avon as well, but I use all these high-end waterline pencils and none of them really work. Like I'm scraping my eye. This just glides on and it doesn't stay on all day. Like you're going to want to take it with you and reapply it but still I mean like it's really really pretty it's dark and it does stay on for quite a few hours before it wears down and it's cheap so I know a lot of you are probably waiting to see what kind of false lashes I'm gonna put on but honestly I really don't like putting on false lashes I feel like my lashes are naturally pretty long I like to feel more natural when I go out. I like to only put on just the light makeup. Obviously I put on a lot of mascara just to make my lashes look a little more fuller because even though they're longer they're a little thin so when I put on a couple coats of mascara it thickens them out which is another reason reason why I really like that cover girl but I don't know I mean it's just like it takes me a while to put them on. I don't know if it's because I don't put them on as much as a lot of girls do so it kind of comes a little more naturally to them but I just feel that it's quicker for me to just put on the mascara for my natural lashes and just go out like that. Let me know what you guys think down below about false lashes because I feel like almost every single makeup girl that makes these videos they're always putting on false lashes and I'm thinking like I feel like I need to do that because they're doing it and I don't want to feel like I'm lacking in an area. Also, I do a lot with my lashes at night to make sure that they stay strong and that they're not thinning anymore. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about how to maintain your lashes and keep them strong and healthy, let me know in the comments down below and I can go ahead and make a video for you guys on that. The steps that I do at the end of the night, they don't take a super long time. It's just kind of like a quick one, two, three, but I feel like it is really important for me to do it every single night. Like I really don't skip a night. I used to never do this and that's when I noticed that my eyelashes started thinning a lot. So yeah, I really do try to do it every night just to maintain that consistency for my lashes. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some Victoria's Secret liquid color. This is in the shade Bombshell. So this is the final look with my hair down. I hope you guys liked it. If there's anything that I missed, please let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>